This is how you make red pee using a box of matches. What is red pee? It's an illegal war chemical. It's mainly used in Gaza and other places to make white phosphorus stuff, but I'm not allowed to say that. Why is it illegal? Well, because it causes extremely painful burns. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. You need a couple of matches. You're actually gonna need a lot of matches. You see this strip on the side? That's red phosphorus mixed with clay and glass shards, so it causes friction. Now you probably know that this stuff's used to cook something in particular that I'm not going to mention from a specific Netflix show. And that's true, but I'm not gonna show you how to do that. So quit asking. I get asked that so many times, my most requested video. There's two methods to remove this red phosphorus on the side. You can use acetone, but not everyone has acetone. So I'll show you a different method. Take a sharp knife and slowly scrape away at the red phosphorus on the side of the matchbox. You probably don't have much of a use for red phosphorus. So let me show you something that you can do with this. And trust me, it is worth your time. It is so cool. Now, why can't you just buy this stuff? Well, it's actually extremely restricted and hard to find. So without a license or a business, you really just can't get it. You also might be wondering why I'm in my garage. Right now I'm on the grind. I'm working three jobs and I record every night till 12 or even one o'clock. This means I can't record outside anymore, so I'll have to use my garage. So you'll be seeing more Cool Man Garage episodes from now on. Until I start making enough money from YouTube, I'm going to have to keep on doing this. But once I do make enough money, I can record way more videos. My channel memberships are only $1. So if you'd like to support me, I'd appreciate it. After about four matchboxes, I was probably left with like 0.25 grams of this stuff. So it's pretty slow. So I'll show you the acetone method. Essentially, we're just going to cover the side of our match in acetone. And after you do this, it dissolves extremely well. If you're doing this method, you're going to have to let it dry off. We'll be moving all of our red phosphorus over to the side here in a separate pile. If you already know this trick I'm about to show you, skip to the end of the video where I show you how to make the other version of red phosphorus, which I'm also not allowed to say on, on camera. And you can use that specific chemical to do extremely cool magic tricks. I'll show you what it means. Take all of your match heads out and you're going to crush the heads off. Alternatively, you can cut them off, just whatever you prefer. Now we have our two separate powders, the dark red one and the light red one. Mix the two together and they're impact sensitive. Here's your warning, wear ear protection. It is extremely loud. Before you do that, take the back of a knife and crush it up much finer. Here's your warning. This can ignite by doing this because of like friction and stuff, you know? Fold up your piece of paper and put them into a cup just like this. Now we're gonna mix it up just like this in our cup. This is the safest and easiest way to do this. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and test it out by hitting it with a hammer. Be warned, use an extremely small amount. That's all you need. You can't even see it on the camera. That's how cool this stuff is. That was about as loud as a 22 LR, and that was about 1 16th of the entire matchbox worth. Using the full thing's almost as loud as a 12 gauge. What's cool is even after taking all the red phosphorus off the end, you're still able to strike matches on it. I guess it's because it's hard to get all of it off. You can also make some extremely cool stuff out of this stuff. Go watch my other videos if you want to see what I mean. I'm not going to mention it here. Now I'm going to show you how to make white phosphorus. Now we're going to grab a ceramic plate. You need this because it's cold. There are multiple ways to make this, but this is by far the easiest method. We're going to need to cut off this strip right here using a knife. Peel off as much of the cardboard from the back of it as you can, because if you don't, it's going to burn much less well. Now place this face down on a plate. Now go ahead and light it on fire. Once it's smoking, push it down on the plate. Just make sure not to get yourself burned. Make sure not to breathe in those fumes because you will get fossy jaw. Just look it up, it's terrible. Now move this aside and rub the toxic, dangerous war chemical on your fingers. White phosphorus doesn't exist in nature. Now rub it in between your fingers and they'll start to smoke. I was having trouble lighting it with the matches, so I recommend using some lighters. Don't ask why I have so many. Rubbing his fingers causes it to smoke because this stuff reacts with oxygen. It actually looks extremely cool. I want to see if lighting this powder does the same thing. I know it's going to react extremely quick, so you got to watch out. All right, now let's rub this powder on our fingers. I don't think so. If you're having problems getting this to work, go ahead and peel that cardboard much thinner. That usually helps. Ouch. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, once again, don't breathe this stuff in. Like, it'll genuinely cause you lots of problems. I made a video covering this years ago, and it was genuinely a terrible video. I have no idea how to perform so well, so I decided that I would remake it. Literally, this video got like over 100,000 views, and I've never been able to beat it since. I've gotten shorts with millions of views, but I haven't got a long form video over 100K in a while. So if this video hits 100K, 
I don't know, but make it happen. I'll do something special. Also, I just bought this DJI Flip. It was like $600, and I can't even fly it because I don't have a license. So if anyone knows like a quicker way to do it, or if there's like a way I can bypass like section 107, let me know.